Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello, film club. Hi, I'm Emily. Ah, you got a lot of film. Yeah, that's where it's happening, man, yeah. for sure. Hi. Hello. Oh. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, I'm Anissa. And I'm Zara. Hey, kid! Hello, hello, how are you? Hi, nice to see you. Yes, I'm a big fan of Film Club, actually. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm a young ambassador for Film Club. I'm at the opening gala of the BFI London Film Festival for the film premiere of Never Let Me Go. This film uh, raises quite a few moral issues on the issue of cloning. Um, what are your personal opinions on these moral issues? I'm not going to give my personal opinion. No, no, I think what's amazing about this film is that it's about so many different things. I think essentially it's a love story. Um, I think it's also about friendship and about people coming to terms with their own mortality. What inspired you to, to turn the book into a film? I didn't, I wasn't inspired to turn the book into a film. I was asked. <laughs> and what, what was nice about it, it was nice to be asked. And then I ummed and ahmed and ahmed and ahmed about it. And then um, thought I'd better do this because I stand a fair chance of getting it right. Because because I'm from a tin house council estate and I know these guys. Do you have any um, uh, anything you'd like to say to young filmmakers like myself? You young filmmakers, the whole future of British cinema is in your hands. No pressure, just, you know, get out there, fly the flag for British independent films. Show the exhibitors that there is a taste and a hunger for British films. I think it's fantastic about Film Club is that you can learn so much through movies. It's not just about learning to appreciate you know, a great story or a great filmmaker or anything. It's actually about learning about the world through movies. In some scenes in the movie, there are like um, some hints towards poverty. How do you think people are going to react when they see that? I think that you can't make a film about the world, about the, that's trying to be global, without noticing certain fundamental political things. And the most fundamental, is that there's great inequality. Now, were you influenced in any other way by other sci-fi or comedy or horror films? I was influenced by lots of different uh, types of film, um, particularly by John Carpenter, by The Thing, and Assault on Precinct 13, and Halloween. Movies that are kind of genre stories, but also have a bit of a subtext, a bit of a message there. In Film Club, you have access to all of the stuff that you don't know that you're gonna like. And I found things that I didn't know about when I was a kid uh, uh, happened upon Cares accidentally and it changed my life. Sweet. So what made you want to write, produce and direct this film and have you always been interested in this sort of genre of film? It's a good question. I, I, I've always been interested in movies that uh, sort of do a lot of things in one movie where it's not just a comedy or just a science fiction movie or just a drama and uh, the first idea for Super 8 was to revisit the time when I was, you know, your age or younger, and to try and, you know, tell a story about a kind of group of sort of misfit kids making movies, and that was the first, really, the first way. How are you doing? I was told there might be some intrepid reporters here from Film Club. <laughs> did you have a plan or a script that you wanted to follow, or did you just um, follow Sampat around because you didn't know what was really going to happen? That's the nice question, actually, because. Um, what I had in my mind was I wanted, I always want to have characters that the audience can maybe identify with. Hopefully that they can really like them. So hopefully, Kate, when you saw the film, you maybe thought, oh, Renu could be one of my friends. That somehow you're opening a little window onto another world. Film Club is a very uh, inventive and uh, far-sighted and original project. I think it's wonderful uh, and it opens up all kinds of doors. Really interesting the way that they they span a complete spectrum of questions and ideas, um, and they really are thinking about film. And it's very good news, very helpful. Was it fun um, being an executive producer in this new film? What fascinates you about times gone by? If you were the king for the day, what would you do? How to actually become an editor? Why do you think the king's speeches are good for film for children? Do you have any funny or embarrassing words behind the scenes? Do you think that any young people could take anything away from this film? What are the challenges of making a sequel to a successful animation? What film set you on your journey to becoming an actor and why? You're an animator, so what's so good about Toy Story? What is your favourite moment of the movie? Lots of complex scenes in this film with animals involved. Does this put a lot of stress on you as the director? Goodbye, thank you. You guys are excellent. Can I have a high five? That was awesome. You guys are
much better than most of the adults.